Stone strip mining was once the main source of employment and energy in western Pennsylvania. Many mines have closed over the years and now a new source of energy is needed, preferably a cleaner energy. Since western Pennsylvania is included in the northernmost part of the Appalachian Ridge Mountains, wind energy seems like a logical choice for an alternative energy source. Recently in my hometown, Patton, Pennsylvania, a wind farm was constructed. This wind farm was not constructed overnight. It took many studies to determine if Patton would be suitable for a wind farm. Many temporary MET towers were put up for this study. The MET towers study things like wind speed and direction, temperature, and barometric pressure. After the studies, a wind farm could begin to be constructed. They started out this project by laying out a plan and then executing it. Temporary access roads were put into place where the wind turbines were going to be constructed. Four foot ditches were dug with a machine called a stone saw. Power lines were then placed into the ditches and the ditches were filled halfway with limestone and the rest with dirt. The base of the wind turbine was then put into place. The tower was then lifted onto the base. Once the tower was all together, the generator is brought in and lifted to the top of the tower. The blades are then carefully lifted to the generator to complete this wind turbine. I talked with the manager of the Patton LLC wind farm, Mr. Richard Kylenyak, about how wind turbines produce power. Wind is a kinetic energy. The blades catch it and it goes to the drivetrain, turns it into a mechanical energy. Then we have a generator hooked up at the, at the rear end of it and uh, we make it electrical energy. And how that's done is with your generator, uh, you have your basic components, uh, conductor, magnets, and motion. And uh, from that point, we have a converter system that induces voltage onto our rotor. And uh, then uh, your converters are trying to sync the machine to the grid. Each wind turbine produces 2 megawatts of power per hour. Richard Kyleniak talks about how a wind turbine produces the most efficient amount of energy. Mesa, who is our manufacturer for your inner bus system, they, they design a software. And this software controls everything. It's the brain of the turbine. Basically how it tracks wind, uh, how to pitch the blades, when to feather them back. Um, and then we have our converter system, which is its own software system that they work together hand in hand. And I mean, there, there's a lot of digital inputs, outputs, analog inputs and outputs. With the recent addition of the wind farm in Patton, the sixth grade science teacher from Cambria Heights Middle School, Mr. Nathaniel Wharton, made it essential to put wind power into his curriculum. I interviewed Mr. Wharton on how he incorporates the use of the wind turbines into his classroom instruction. Currently I'm presenting this as a, uh, a renewable energy resource, just giving them a factual basis for it. Uh, I'm explaining how this is going to help pilot our idea of sustainability and how it can bring jobs in, into this economy in this area, which was very heavily dominated by the coal region. Right now, though, it's more of a factual basis on production, on uh, how they work, the mechanics behind them, and energy transformations is a big focus. Uh, the media that we use right now, we, we do a lot with hands-on models as part of the STEM curriculum science, technology, engineering, and math. We have the kids actually build models for the windmills and they actually test produ productivity. Last year as a gifted project, I actually had them tear apart uh, hard drives and we use actual motors out of there to use and, and to test the actual production of different designs on wind uh, shape of the blades to see how that affected production. Farmers are still able to utilize their land around the wind turbines for planting their crops. All the land surrounding the wind turbines are returned to their original state. The only added feature are the access roads leading towards the wind turbines for maintenance. The construction of wind turbines, the teaching, and the education provided all play major roles in making this world a cleaner and more efficient place to live.